what's going on guys let me reposition this a little bit and let's see here throw some music on throw this up to the top what you all up to tonight and I will warn you in advance, in the event that the stream completely dies, <laughs> we've got a, a little bit of a lightning storm going on, so in the event my computer just like shuts off, thanks for your support. <laughs> uh, anyway, yep, there's the heavy rain announcer dude popping up on my phone. Anyway. Crypto Bedell. Here, let's minimize this. Let's do a quick little roll call. Y2K Anonymous first. Ray Rayos Caroline Brodeer. What's up, man? Crypto Dave 97 56. And Crypto Bedell. So, how are you all doing tonight? Chilling out, hanging out with Teaspoon. How's the volume for the uh, music and everything? Is it good? Up, down, solid? Alright. Let's see here. Let's see if I can get this good. Trying to be able to see everything. Crypto Dave, sideways. One new egg today and got a 3060 Ti and just got a white 3060 Ti from the Zotac Q. Nice, dude. That's awesome, man. Congratulations. I just realized I don't have my unboxing knife, so I will be right back. <laughs> you guys get to chill with the tunes for just a minute, and I'll be right back. creaky stairs. MC and Cyber Noob. What's going on, guys? Let me tweak my mic a little bit here. There we go. Take a quick drink. Short, uh, short shirt that I ordered from Doge Lord arrived. Let's take a look. I actually really like this shirt. <laughs> it's awesome.
I love the material too. Super high quality, super soft. All that. Crypto dad. Just like a normal dad. But way smarter. <laughs> yeah. I love this shirt. That's awesome. So yes, if you're interested in crypto apparel, be sure to check out dogelord.com for all your crypto apparel needs, be they hoodies or uh, flat bill hats or beanies or masks or t-shirts, etc. Super high quality material Fairly fast shipping, depending on what you order. This one, this particular shirt took a little bit longer, but still came pretty quick, all things considered. All right. Let's see who else we got here. Thomas Tran, what's up? I haven't got my PCIe power splitters yesterday. 10 of 10 quality also. Oh, I saw that. I saw you retract it. <laughs> it's the Transter. Got to stop in Walmart. Hate my Walmart. My PCIe power splitters. You save GPU. GPU risers. 10 of 10 quality. Just chilling. Thomas Tran. Mr. Goof. So, shall we get to the box? Doge Lord! Hey, hold up. Before we do that, show off this. Show off the goods from Mr. Doge Lord. <laughs> I love this shirt, dude. I'm super happy with it. Apples. What's up, man? And apples to answer your question. Oh, let's see. <laughs> Y2K. Remember, everything in this stream is financial advice. I resent that remark. It is not financial advice. Do your own research. <laughs> uh, that's so funny. But yes, apples, to answer your question, um, I do have some stickers on order at the moment. Uh, I should have them in the next, like, let's see, let's see this. 14th uh the next like 10 days i think something like that is the mine your biz on your shirt it's not on this shirt but it is on the um bitcoin word cloud shirt that i got from the savage mine collection which all proceeds from the savage mine collection purchased on dogelord.com do go to directly supporting Savage Mind's family, which is awesome. Those of you who don't know, Savage Mind was a dear friend of ours in the crypto community. Is a amazing crypto YouTuber, did some incredible content, Fireball Friday, among other things, did some deep dives on stuff like Ravencoin, creating assets on the Ravencoin blockchain, and all that. But he sadly, uh, several months ago, passed away. And so we had a huge hash for savage campaign where we threw a whole massive ton of hash rate at savages wallets for a period of time and uh, made sure all that coinage was provided to his family to support them in those difficult times right when everything happened and we did a little tribute to savage and a lot of other really cool things so anyways hashtag stay savage let's see who else is showing up here tomorrow can't wait for more mega hashes mc r.i.p savage yeah totally man thomas Tran, my step up evga 3090 comes in tomorrow long three month wait yeah dude nice that's pretty awesome 
All right, let's see what we got here. Yes. Yes, bring that focus in. I stink and love these cards. These things are amazing. Overclock. I don't remember. Hold on. Oh, yeah, I guess it's the same. I was going to say, I don't remember this overclock sticker on the first one. Just peeked behind me on my box wall, and it's there. So I guess I just didn't remember it from before. But anyway. Let's see what we're doing. Let's see. I need to trade an Asus 3070 LHR for a non Asus 3070 non LHR. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, Doge Lord going to have another Savage Tribute moment during the next Aeon Poker Tournament, October 9th, since it will be our first since his passing. Dude, that's awesome. Uh, Doge Lord, if you want, here, if you want, I will give you the. Wrench. So Doge Lord, you now have the wrench. If you would like to drop um, info about the poker tournament for October 9th, if, if there's like a Google Doc or whatever with all the info. I know we've had that set up that way previously. Cedric, what's up, man? In case you were wondering, we just unboxed or unpackaged, I should say. Not unboxed quite yet, but unpackaged this beautiful card and this sorry I bumped the camera this beautiful shirt from dogelord.com I love this material I think it's like and dogelord can uh, step in and shut me down if I'm giving the information incorrectly but uh, I think it's like 60 40 polyester cotton or polyester spandex or something like that um, Wash inside out, unique creation. Let's see. I love the material makeup of these shirts. Yeah. Anyways, I don't need to get into the details, but but yes, definitely check out dogelord.com for all your crypto apparel needs. And um you can't see it, but I'm wearing the uh, Misfit Mining MM shirt with uh, Jump Change XD Mining on my sleeve. Also super comfy, etc. Anyway, good stuff. Appreciate that. Registration will be open September 25th for the poker tournament. We'll be sure to drop info when it's live. Nice. Yes. Be sure to check out dogelord.com. Dogelord just dropped a link to the website. He is here with us this very evening. Be sure to say hello and send your regards, etc. And if you're not, I'm sure you all are, but if you're not in the Misfit Mining Discord, be sure to join. Because, ah, man, I just sliced through my box. I need to stop talking and pay attention to what I'm doing. I don't <laughs> cut my finger off. Whatever. My wife will vouch for when I'm talking and driving, I tend to not drive the right direction <laughs> and overshoot turns and all kinds of stuff. Can't play poker, I get into it after like an hour, I get frustrated and just start playing crazy. Nah, I'm the same way, dude. Who can join the tourney? There's Lord. Mind out. MC, believe anyone can join. MC, I am blind. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Any and all can join the tournament. The tournament is free to attend. Aeon coin rewards are real. It's true. I think the um, tourney we had in... When was the last one? Was it uh, August or July? 
Um, the I think the uh, top prize was like 3,500 Aeon or something like that. Some crazy amount, which was awesome. Crypto Duck! Quackity quack, what's up, man? Let's see what we got in the box here. So we got our user manual and the little info card, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, there you go, bumping the camera again. Center. Cedric, I got an XFX Quick 308 here in Thailand for 600 bucks. I got robbed. I'm getting 32.6 at 58 watts in software. That's pretty solid still. 115 watts at the wall. 115 watts at the wall. Using Linux Ubuntu. Pretty impressed. Yeah, dude, that's so cool. Here, I can show you. Well, I'll show you in a minute. Um, I've got another one of these. Like I said, I've got one on my box wall, but. Uh, I've got one of these running on my Harry rig, Harry like Harry Potter, and um, it is running 60, or no, 60, what am I saying, 30, I think it's just over 32 mega hash at like 55 watts in the software, uh, and I think it's approximately, let's see, it was... I don't remember. Um, it was nine. I don't know. I'm trying. It's anyways. It's right around 100, 100 to 110 watts of the wall, something like that. So, pretty solid, which is pretty sweet. Let's see here. Crypto deck. Hello, my brother. You how's life? Can't get past 31.xx at 48 watts or so. Hey, dude, 31 at 48 is still super solid. I was doing 30 before I tuned it and tweaked the um, my like hour long worth of just tweaking the um, clocks and then checking the shell, looking at the um, actual clock performance in the minor console, um, I think I was doing 30, well, originally it was doing like 28.4 at like 60 watts software, something like that. Um, and then played around with it with uh, Mastermind Crypto and Matt Electron Engineering Rick and a couple other of the awesome Misfit dudes. And we found the um, upper end of the memory clocks was, meaning upper end, like if you clocked it above a certain range, it would actually drop it and it would actually ac be running at a thousand. Um, and uh, so I played with it and I would tweak the clocks and then um, restart the miner. And, or I uh, reboot the rig or whatever we fiddled with that and then I'd get back into shell and let the miner ramp up and see what it all was running at and the tuning point or the turning point or whatever the sweet spot was I think it was a thousand seventy four or something like that for the memory clock if I did 1,075 or higher, it would run at 1,000 megahertz, which was weird. But yeah. Ta -da. I can actually can't even remember if my camera is on autofocus. I think it is. And this webcam is not super amazing. I was tempted to try fiddling with um, my GoPro Hero and doing like a live from the GoPro Hero or with a uh, live with the GoPro Hero being a video source into OBS, <coughs> um, but uh, I just didn't have time. So 
Anyway. Love this card. Panda flick. Super weird that these don't come with the PCI slot detector, or detector, protector. Super clean. Super nice. Pulse. And pardon me, like I said, if the internet drops out or if the stream goes weird. Um, like I said, we've got kind of weird weather going on. So we'll see if things stay live. <laughs> Let's see here. So you never to change paths, you're just better, you don't really need dual bios. And catch up on the stream. MC, you have the same one as Teaspoon, but don't see the dual bio switch. Mine was also a white one. Uh, let's see here. Don't see the dual bio switch. Mine was also a white one. Might stick it on my PC, then I want all white matching PC. Yeah, Crypto Duck, that'd be sweet. I really liked the look of Chump's all-white rig. Here's just better, you don't really need dual BIOS. Mine doesn't want to go below 732 millivolts for core. I hope Igor's lab will manage to crack the BIOS flash protection. Crossed fingers. Demon Slayer, Demon Slayer, what's up, man? Getting high memory temps on my 5600 XTs, just the MSI, changing thermal pads right now. Nice, dude. I, did, I had uh, a 5700 XT and a 5600 XT at one point, but ended up selling those and uh, swapping them for a my uh, ROG Strix 3060OC, uh, I think it was. Um, let's see, yeah, the OC, uh, 3060 ROG Strix. But uh, sweet card, super nice. Uh, let's see, Demon Slayer, never had to change pads, I dread the day. But the gay white likes 1050 for some reason. Wow, MSI does a terrible job with thermal paste application. Yeah, I believe it. So I drink the OB Suite. Only time I'm sure Igor has a bunch. So I forgot to pay the internet bill. <laughs> I did get anonymous. Yeah, it's, I don't know. It's my internet's finicky for some reason. You were, you guys were there for, or some of you were, for my Tuesdays with Teaspoon stream a couple weeks ago. When I unboxed, unboxed a bunch of stuff. This was one of the things that I unboxed. I have yet to unbox, unbox. I unpackaged it. <laughs> but uh, I want to try this out in my storage space where my rigs are to have that be what feeds the switch that feeds my rigs as opposed to having the switch fed by a power line adapter because... For whatever reason, it's been a little bit finicky. I'm not quite sure why, but for the moment, I don't know. It's, uh, it's it's gotten better, but anyway. Uh, let's see here. So we're gonna change pads just for fun. No dual bias, right? On that one. Uh, let's see. I want to. I almost want to say that I th saw a dual bias switch somewhere. Look. There's the power. No, yeah, I don't think so. Yeah, I think this one's just single BIOS, it looks like. I do not see a switch anywhere. Usually it's like on the end or whatever. But yeah, still, like I said, super clean card. Super nice. Love it. And the thunder rolls. Let's see here. I enjoy, I enjoy changing thermal pads. His name is Slayer greatly increases the cooling if you use the right pads. Fuji Poly. 17 kilowatt interesting dude 
Here, let me show you the pads that I got for, sorry, I keep knocking this camera. It's sort of, it's on a gooseneck mount that's just clamped to my desk. So it's sort of, it's sort of <laughs> jinked together, whatever. Let's see here. So uh, Demon Slayer, these are the pads that I got for my 3080. Thermal Wright Extreme Odyssey. These are 12 point, holy cow, that's crazy. Yours are 17. And these are 12, 12 watts per MK for conductivity. The 17 for yours, is that the conductivity or what's the, what's that 17? Where do you poly 17 KW? Change thermal pads on all my RX 5700 XTs, 5700, 5700s and 5600 XTs made a significant difference in terms of temperatures. Y2K, one of my 6800 memories won't go below 76, we'll probably have to go into it soon. Deep mines, deep miners. Sorry, what's up? Doge Lord, my daughter loves the anime. <laughs> Crypto Dave, Best Buy has 6600 XT. Give me that you don't want. Give me that you don't want it. <laughs> Demon Slayer, yeah, I open air cool. Try to avoid extra fans and RGB, so cooling is important. 6900 XT, 6900 XT for 1250. Well, I don't know. I, I haven't watched the 6900s. So I, because I just recently, in the last couple of months, got into the 6000 series. Um, let's see here, Cal Miner, Cal Miner, what's up? Fuji Poly doesn't two does two millimeter pads on 0 0.05 to 1.5. 17 is the conductivity. Nice. That's crazy, dude. 17. Wow. That's impressive. Highest I could find. The funny thing is, the shipping was cheaper that way. Thomas Tran, Crypto Duck. Yeah, a lot of these retailers are flipping these cards on eBay for double the price. Greedy people. Yeah, totally. It's not bad. Shipped to 6900 Nitro Plus for 1100 a while ago. I want one 6900. Hello from Alaska. Take a trip down here. Nice, dude. That's awesome. Very cool. <laughs> See what I did there? Very, very cool. I've actually got um, some buddies that live up in Alaska. Or they're, they've got family up there. So that's pretty sweet. Um, he used to lead, like, ATV, like, hunting tours. Or, like, fishing tours or whatever up there. Which is pretty cool. Let's see here. Jumped on YouTube, saw you were live. Yeah, once I figured it out. <laughs> First time, or second time, I should say, that I've actually scheduled a stream. And I realized that after you schedule it, and it, the time passes of the schedule going live, that you have to still hit the button that says go live. <laughs> I was sitting here swiping on my phone, pulling up YouTube, like, why isn't it there? Why can't it see it? It's past the schedule time. And it was just sitting there waiting for me to press the big button that says go live stare me in the face <laughs> so anyway i'm rambling let's see here just back over here oh, bye bye for now guys gotta head into town for supplies thanks cal miner for swinging by for a minute and we will catch you later i gotta Check out your latest content. Pocket change. Good evening. How are you tonight? Do this so I can add this to my box wall. so carefully to open up the box. Love it.
a teaspoon. Good, good. Loving my new job. Yay! That's so awesome. I'm so happy. I know that it was taking a while because of the whole situation that you had, or whatever, where they had to you had to like wait an extra week, and because I think we were supposed to start the same day, if I remember right. But uh, yeah, so yay! That's so awesome. I'm glad. Good for you. Way to have victory on there. Deep miners, how do you tag a name? Uh, in the chat, type uh, the at sign. And then if you just type any portion of one of the names, so like Thomas, you can type at Thomas space Tran or just at Thomas. Um, <coughs> if it matches a name of a participant in the chat, then it'll ping whatever. So like you could type just at teaspoon for me or whatever, and it'll ping. Or it'll not ping, but like it highlights it. So let's see here. I was trying that's Walmart for you. Blue Gnome, what's up, man? Yeah, I just don't want to look like a bear <laughs> taking a pick. Uh, let's see. Bucket chains, here we were, but that's okay. I needed an extra week, anyways. Thank you. Yes, they left the evil people behind. Good. Good stuff. Yeah, I was glad that the way that it worked out for me, too. We got back from my week long road trip, and I was able to have a week before. I started so that was nice as well so nice nice weird people these days I think you have to be on PC you can actually still do it crypto Dave um, from phone it's just annoying because you have to just type it out you can't like um, you can't uh, like start typing and then tap a name from a list or whatever you want a video let's see Lines, Thomas Tran, MC, Teaspoon Man are not much, taking a break from doing laser work and watching YouTube. Which you can't notice the difference seems to be mostly in terms of power consumption. I guess some cards are allowed to go lower in terms of millivolts. Mine does not want to go below 732. Interesting. You and fam too. Only at Walmart. Only at Wally World. <laughs> if you guys have a minute after my stream, not right now, but look up, uh, what is it, People of Walmart. There's someone that made a song that <laughs> it was pretty funny. Yeah, it's pretty funny. Cedric, Pocket Change, Walmart CEO, holy moly, Pad Thai, nice job, my sister, way to go. Good for you, good for you. So, what do you guys think? Should I, here, let's, hang on, let me readjust a couple things real quick. We will sit down and take a look at what Harry looks like right now. I gotta sit down anyways. Let's do transition. Dee -dee 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 -dee. Window capture. Live stream. I think that's the one that I want. Check my windows. Not that one. Change this. Let's see if that changed this. There we go. Now I know which one it is. Oh, what? I don't know how that happened. That was weird. Oh, I just really no, I didn't transition that. Weird. Whatever. Anyways, uh, okay, let's just transition. There we go. That was weird. I don't know why it threw that up in the corner. I guess. Okay, that was a part of my scene apparently. <laughs> in OBS, I didn't realize it was like dormant or whatever. It didn't. It wasn't like updated. 
Let's see here. Yeah, so let's go over to the farm and make sure that's okay, that's updated. So, yep, so Hermione, for one thing, is running a lot smoother, which is nice. Well, that's funny I say that and I refresh it and then there's an error. But anyway, ignore this. Um, but, uh, but yeah, like, you know, it's doing three, four days at a time type of thing before it has a weird error. But prior to some adjustments I did a couple weeks ago, um, the, let me tweak my mic just a little bit, um, GPU 6 was spitting out like thousands of invalid shares over like a week long period or whatever and it was super annoying. Um, so I tweaked it a little bit and it's still around the same hash rate. Not obviously not quite where I'd like it to be. You know, it's 29 and a half, 29.6. And then this guy, these two are just like the two stooges, 28.3. So the power consumption is not too bad. It's not, it's obviously nothing like the 6600, but for a Polaris, it's not too bad. But yeah, these two were just like finicky beyond belief. And they were, yeah, they were weird. But yeah, so I tweaked those. And it's been stable, which is nice. So let's go over to Harry. And this is one hour uptime because it crashed. And apparently, this is super annoying, but... um, So I've got three these three xfx 580 cards right here they're completely identical pretty much 30.93 88 90 91 watts um which is funny because i don't know i'll have to play with them but uh they are finicky beyond belief for whatever reason when i reboot the rig whether it's with the power actions reboot or um, running the run command reboot now um, the cards will get stuck on the PCI slot detection of my H110 Pro BTC Plus board and it's the cards that get hung up is always one of those three 580 cards and I have to hit the reset button on the motherboard because obviously the H110 has the built-in power button and built-in uh, reset button on the motherboard. But, um... Let's get the music going again. There we go. Um, but yeah. So, uh... I hit reset. Like, I literally don't do anything except hit reset. And then sometimes it might like do -si do and flip to a different card that's hung up. And then I hit it again, and then it goes green. And everything boots, and it starts mining, and it's normal. Um, sometimes, for whatever reason, when I'm doing that, if it doesn't get, if it doesn't boot normally, and they just continue to be finicky, I just have to power off the motherboard and unplug, or not unplug, just turn off the server power supply that's running those cards, turn it back on, and then I hit the power on the motherboard, everything boots, all the cards are green, starts up, starts mining, and I'm off to the races. But yeah, so super finicky. It's just weird. So the other day, um, I swapped out the riser on one of those cards. And maybe it's the riser, possibly. I don't know. I managed to swap it for one of my slightly older, just a, I think it's a 006 like C or something like that. It's like the light blue PCI slot. Um, six pin power, etc. But um, I was thinking, hey, maybe that'll fix it. And when it rebooted um, in the last, Let's see if this shows it. Seven? No, it doesn't show it. Um, but anyways, it rebooted. You know, uh, it was. I think it was like midnight or. 1 a.m. or 2 a.m. or something yesterday morning, not this morning, but yesterday morning, um, it was stuck on the PCI slot detection screen, and the GPU that got hung up was the one that I had swapped that riser on. So I was like, whoa, back to the drawing board. That's super annoying. 
So yeah, so that was really annoying. But anyway, let's catch up on the chat. Let's see here. Our time stop to build for spotted T. Nice. Started the Misfit 6600 Club rig packs. Right to anonymous. Mind Cedric. These cards are interesting if you can get them at a decent price. It's true. Good. Take the credit. Everyone blames me for their 6600 XT obsession. <laughs> That's funny. I still blame you, Crypto Duck. For 80, won't go above 25.6 at 52. Don't they do 30? 29. Yep. Your 480 won't? MC? That's really weird. What uh, variety or brand or whatever is your 480? Feel free to steal my clocks. I've got um, XFX, Gigabyte, Sapphire on Harry, and then on Hermione I've got um, a couple of Sapphire. Three Sapphire. So, those 480s are good cards. Yes, Crypto Duck, I would blame you. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but yeah. Um, yep, Sapphire Nitro. I've got a bunch of those. So, try... Let's see. Sapphire 480. So, yeah, this is, like, my kind of go-to for clocks. 1120 DPM 3... 880 ish, like 850 to 880 on the core voltage, 2070 on memory, and then for the MDPM, which is memory state in the overclock screen, um, if you put 800, and I've some people will debate this and be like, no, it doesn't work, or whatever, but I've got proof pinned in the Hive OS chat. Um, that it does drop the power at the wall. It's not visible in the software necessarily, but if you put 800, I know that it says over here, it says 0 or 1, just ignore that, or 1 or 2, just ignore that. And if you put 800, save that change, and then reboot your rig, watch the power consumption at the wall, and it will drop. So I was able to, uh, back when Hagrid was still running, I think I had Hagrid running... What was it? Uh, I think it was five cards. Um, and uh, I was able to maintain the same hash rate and drop the power by like 40 or 50 watts at the wall or something like that. So, yeah, it's worth it. 48 gig, I took a pick of yours. The Sapphire is weird. It came up as an XFX. That's weird. They put it to stock by us crazy that's strange yeah yeah dude let me know how it goes I'm curious so man I wish I had my I wish I had my hero running so I could have you guys over in the mines with me while I get this 6600 running but that's all right um let's see Okay, let's do this. I'll throw you guys over to the crypto prices for a minute. I'm gonna go grab a riser, power cables, and a splitter, or power cable, power, blah, 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 man, all, all over the place. Power cable, <laughs> power cables, um, and, <laughs> and, uh, Let's get this card running. So here, actually, before I do that, what I'm going to do is go over here and let's turn off the hash rate watchdog so it doesn't reboot the rig while I'm trying to do stuff. If you guys watch what I'm doing, I actually took this from Chump Change. Um, but uh, I'm stopping the miner. Obviously, I'm turning off the hash rate watchdog because when you stop the miner, obviously the hash rate drops, and the hash rate watchdog might be like, oh, why is it running low hash rate? And it would reboot the rig. But so you, you stop the miner, which stops the mining. 
and then uh, what that'll do is it'll let the cards spin down and cool off and let's see here sometimes it's finicky with it actually like updating Harry minor actions stop minor there we go I don't know why I didn't kick the first time but red fox what's up man if you get if you were curious we've got here i can transition real quick so i just unboxed this beautiful 6600 xt sapphire uh sapphire pulse um and i'm prepping harry to throw the card on the rig and get it up in hashing and I was showing Doge Lord, my crypto dad. <laughs> crypto dad. Just like a normal dad, but way smarter. <laughs> my logo's in the way. Anyway. Um, but yeah, super comfy. Love these shirts. I'm wearing my Misfit Mining shirt at the moment because it's comfy. Lately I've been chilling out in my crypto shirts in the evenings because they are super comfy. So anyway, there we go. Okay, let's refresh this. Okay, so we are spun down. Temperatures are dropping, which is good. So the purpose of doing that where you stop the miner um, it doesn't matter if you leave the fly sheet running because that's not going to kick back up or whatever. But when you stop the miner and let the fans keep running, that's going to kick the temperatures down on your on your GPUs. Because if you just go straight to shutting your rig off with like power shut down or whatever, your GPUs are still hot even with the fans running. And if your GPUs go from hot to like off in an instant, there can be potential for actually like physically cracking your like GPU die, which is like irreparable. And then you'd have a dead card, which would not be fun. So yeah, don't do it. Yeah, so this is what I've, this is the kind of process that I've adopted when I'm putting a, a new card into a rig is go into the worker details, go into the minor actions, Stop the miner, let it spin down for a little bit, watch the temperatures, check again, there you go, 40, 43, 53, so those are pretty good, and then you can shut it off, I'll just shut it off from back there, but anyway, but yeah, oh, and I realized that <laughs> you guys aren't seeing this because I didn't transition back, anyway, but yeah, so minor actions stop minor and then just watch your temperatures once everything is all spun down you can either shut the rig off with power actions and shut down or just shut it off with the power button or whatever so let's see what the chat is looking like red fox yeah, dude, the 6600s are solid cards. I'm liking it. Let's see here. Spot of T. What up? 6600 Pulse. Yeah, it's a nice card. Harry and the Hendersons. <laughs> Did not see you there, mate. How are you doing? New Fist Mining 6600 Club. Just got home from driving daughter to volleyball. Deep mines get the 3090 in the rigs. Up Doge Lord, yo! Like a turbo timer, but for GPUs. Doge Lord Apparel. Just to skip class in high school to play volleyball. There you go. Cool. Alright. So, the rig. Here, let's flip you back over to the crypto prices. For a little bit. There's a lot of parallel sweep. Hope she'll keep playing it. Great sport. 
Alright. There we go. Okay. So, chill for a bit. Talk amongst yourselves, as they say. I'm gonna go grab these supplies, and we'll get this going.
All right. <laughs> Still alive, I promise. <laughs> Up. There we go. That. Super crazy individually stranded power cables. <laughs> yes, Dogelord. <Dogelide. laughs> Uh, everything came out okay so far. I had to, so, behind the scenes, I did uh, kind of reorganize the cards a little bit. I moved my three XFX cards down underneath, and then I've got the 6600 XT that's currently running, or that's on the rig, is on the far right, and then I opened up a slot just to the left of it to have the other 6600. So I've got the two 6600s on the top row on the far right, and then the three fifty or the three 580s are on the second row down underneath. And... Yeah. Do a quick picture. Throw this in. Rig picks. Alright, if you guys go check out the Rig Picks channel in Discord here. You know what? I will just pull it up real quick. Nope, hang on. So I've got the three XFX 580s down underneath. And then there's one, two, three. I took, um, I think I slid this guy over from right here. And then this guy was the one that was up top right here. And then I just kept the same I didn't touch the 1x connectors and I've got the sapphire all ready to go so let's go get this 
done. Let's catch up on the chat. See how you guys were ragging on me for taking forever. You can schedule a Discord call. I was having stuff on your site. My brother was at the end of the years, and I was doing my eyes. You can schedule a Discord call. I'm going to use your days off. Dee 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 dee. Anonymous Miner, what's up? Taking a grump, grumpy break. <laughs> They look great. Grumpy Miner, nice grumpy, taking over, wrench. Many artists make me labels, need crypto case, crypto baits, copy names. So I finished before live over. Let me put this baby in timeout. <laughs> Pen and Yashnik. And he is so fun to talk trash to. <laughs> yes, he is. And clips going on the board. Nothing delicious. Can you hear a little trash talk? Things. Deep miners. Talking to steal all stuff. Fish is in the barn right now. In the basement. Talking to fish. Not really bad. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Too many chiefs here, not enough Indians. Alright. And thumbs down. Go get go go gadget Chuck Norris. Right. That's funny. Chuck Norris kick. Thank goodness it wasn't live. I was still watching Teaspoon put on the first ever riser by the looks of it. <laughs> oh anonymous. Man, you like giving me crap. Doesn't matter, it still helps the algo of thumbs down. Right. I mean just means they watched it and didn't like it, so they gave me watch time. What did you do with my paste? Hanging out, eating, and watching. You do your thing, you're on paste. Is the rest of Misfit. I mean, not hanging those GP. <laughs> Why do you get anonymous? You're hilarious. I just really like my Kingwin frames. I have thought about taking um, Hagrid off of that aluminum frame with the wood slats underneath it and doing that switching that over to a hanging rig that actually might be better for the heat dissipation for those cards because those are the hot cards but uh, anyway but yeah so let's get this card running so bear with me for another 20 minutes no just kidding <laughs> oh, I'm so kidding I'm gonna go throw this on the rig Plug in power, plug in the riser, and fire it up, and we will get this going. Let me actually take a quick snapshot of my clocks, just in case everything decides to do a little dosy -si do. It shouldn't, but you never know with HiveOS. When you add a card, it sometimes decides to shake the bowl and have everything get everything else's clocks and it's funny sometimes so uh, let me throw this into a save Going on. Trump change. What's up, man? Perfect timing, dude. I'm just throwing my 6600 XT. Here, I'll transition and show you real quick. Ta da! Got my Crypto Dad shirt. <laughs> um, but yeah, got the Sapphire all unboxed and risered, ready to go. Gonna throw it on to Harry. 
check out uh, rig pics. I just uh, threw a couple of pictures in there. <laughs> I smelled something burning. Oh man, you're hilarious. Um, I'm in North Korea. Kim Jong Un was this paper missile at you. YouTube doesn't like you saying the word missile, apparently. <laughs> uh, anyway, all right. Jump change, you distracted me. I blame you for the delay. Anyway, all right, let's do this. Let's flip back to... Yep.
Sorry about that, you guys. I think an audio. Come on, YouTube. That really drives me crazy that it's like, video paused. Continue watching? I'm like, yes, just play it. Seriously. So annoying. Why it does that, I do not know. It's just. Let's go back to the beginning. Alright. Alright, refresh. Kill these. Let's go back to the farm and back into Harry. Two minutes ago, offline one minute. So nine cards. Yeah, see, this is what I mean. One, two. Super annoying that it does this. All right. Let's look at the clocks. So for a GPU zero is now two, three, seven, eight, nine, three, four, five, nine. This is like all over the place. But, yep, see now the 580 has my. Okay, that's annoying. Alright, let me fiddle with these for just a second. So, we got X of X 480. FX, let's try 7800, except this last one. Okay, so let's do, so it's 1200, 665, 700. running 70. Alright, I think, let's see, 20. Okay, those are different as well. The Gigabyte 480. Those 3880, 20. 20. And this is 1120, 3, okay. That looks good. And then the sapphire was 1120, 
See, this is just so weird because like I didn't have any cards that had a setting of 890 for the core voltage and this card picked up 890 for the core voltage. So I don't know, it's just like Phantom sitting in the background from when I had 12 cards or 10 cards or whatever running on Harry or what. But anyways, super weird. Okay, so 880, 570, 820, there we go. All right. And then let's do 1200, 665, that's Samsung and Samsung, that's good. Those are identical, which is awesome. So 1200, 3, 1200, core voltage was a Six sixty-five mem controller voltage seven hundred mem clock eleven thirty-five five apply. All right. Oh, this has that eight hundred. Oh, I gotta GPU six. Let's go to all GPU six. Seven, six, there we go. One. Apply. Yep, zero and six. One through five, seven through nine. That looks good. Save this. There we go. Back to one. All right. Bye, 2K. Hey, take care, man. Cedric, sorry about that. Let's see here. Midnight Miner, just the two GP, the two 6600s currently. Anonymous <laughs> Miner, you breathing heavy, you might need a snack after that workout. It actually is pretty hot back there. It's like 90 something. And I'll sell for before from in and out. Yes, please. This is like the new school AOL instant messenger. And then it takes that long. He has to snake over there. This is still power. Takes your breath away. 5600 is down. 69 watts. 42 meg hash. Nice. Demon Slayer. Doge Lord, take care, man. Musical overclock game, right, exactly. Teaspoon Caveman Mining, what's up, man? On stream, see y'all later. There's the goodbye message. I'm like, like, I'm just following. <laughs> no worries. Cedric, slacking. Are you watching me? No, I was seriously doing anything. Need the high OS fan curve by temp. You cannot do fan curve. In five OS on your fingers. No OS. Fix fan speed. You can save some watts on the road. You can do full speed during the day and summer. And nights fan is going to be slower. Rabbit mining. Rabbit mining. What's up, man? 40s run pretty much the same as the 580s. All players cards 1100 cores, 790, 850 voltage, depending on lottery, 2200 mem. Ref 20, moon states, core state of 1, best efficiency. Yeah, I found that I've had to tune the crap out of these cards for them to be, like, not unstable and crazy. Like, I've I've had these cards for years, so I've fussed with them for so long, or whatever. But Oh, an anonymous, uh, Shinji black gloves is back he was gone for a couple weeks uh, he mentioned in announcements in misfit mining discord earlier today actually that he's back so yes i have missed his long straight black locks and the black gloves <laughs> all right i'm gonna go reboot harry 
figure out what the heck is going, why it's hung up, because it shouldn't be, but let's go see. Finally. Don't mind me chugging some water real quick. Man, it's hot back there. All right. Gotta plug my phone in again. Easy. Two seventy-five. Oh, look at that. Thirty-two. Dang, this is doing better than my... Actually, this is probably the new one. This guy here. 32.2 at 55. <laughs> you better ET. Right. Okay. Freshness. Two seventy eight, thirty two point two three, so sixty five, twelve hundred, three, six sixty five, seven hundred. Let's go into the shell. I mean, thirty one point nine at fifty four is pretty good, but if I can get it to thirty two point two at fifty five. I'm 
happy. So let's go. Shell. Okay. Midnight Miner, show left a teaspoon, guys. Chimp G and Dex D gets an F every day. Yes. Appreciate that. <laughs> Anonymous, you will have to give me some backstory on that. <laughs> uh. Alright, 6600 XT. MOTD, watch. No, wait. That is it, isn't it? MOTD. Oh, not dash. MOTD, watch. There we go. Alright, so it was. Uh, GPU is 0, is 32, GPU 6 is the other one. Let's see what zeros we're running at clockwise. Still 273 though, I am liking that. Cedric, that's the difference in the 6600. Your sapphire can go below 732. That's where you're getting 54 watts. Okay, so GPU 0, 32.4. Ah, I keep missing the clocks. I think that's why I like the minor screen, because it's not taking up this extra third of the screen. But let's see. Another 20 seconds. Come on. There we go. Nope. Yeah, this is not. All right. Hold on. That's not going to work. Uh, let's see. Nine out of ten. Eight syslog. Zero agent. Uh, zero. No. One. Eight syslog. Nine auto find. Zero. Uh, Yeah, so 1200, so that's running at 11. No, that's the correct one. So GPU 6 is the accurate one, because that's... So that's weird, because that's running at 1134. Uh, let's see here again. Fresh. GPU 6 is 31.8 at 54. Okay, so zero is at 32.2. Okay, so now they're running the same, 1134. So that is interesting that the one is running at 32 mega hash and the other is running at 31.8. So, what should we tweak? I mean, granted, 31.8 at 54 is pretty solid. Maybe it's just silicon lottery. I guess I can try bumping it to 11.45 and see if it bumps to uh, 1100. Jump change, just bought a DJI Mini drone because I need, I realized I need to enjoy life other than just GPUs. Nice, dude. Thing sick goes like six miles away. Small as my cell phone when folded. Crazy 4K video. Dude, that's awesome, man. I'm jealous. Those things seriously are so cool. My brother's got one. We were playing with his a little bit while we were out on our trip. Our road trip. That's pretty sweet. That's awesome. 
those drones are like and the technology with those drones has changed and grown and it's just it's sweet those things are awesome nice tried about the memory on the second one yep so 1134 them through okay so gpu 6 so let's bump this from 11.35, let's just do 11.45. Yes, Crypto Duck, I totally endorse that. Get pocket change trained. Get on that, chump change. Alright, restart miner. Crypto key, what's up? Starting. Still liking that 270 though. That's pushing similar, ha more, yeah, right around the same hash rate as Hermione. I am liking that. Let's go back to Harry. There we go. Ramping up. Let's do minor. Okay, so it does bump to 11.45, that's good. So that's interesting. Because my other one did not want to yet. So 11.34 on the first one, 11.45 on the second one. Should I bump the first one to 11.45? That's interesting. What do you guys think? Cause that first one's running 32 plus already. And then six. Running 27.8, GPU 6, 27.9. Why are you running 27.9 at 49? When your clocks say you are running, okay, tuning complete. But yeah, what do you guys think? GPU zero and GPU six. Eleven thirty four is running thirty two, and eleven forty five is running. Oh, okay, it's twenty eight. That's up a little bit, but it's not thirty two or thirty one like the other one is. So is it just crazy poor silicon? Talking to the peanut gallery. <laughs> yeah, tech man, what's up man? Yeah, I'm kind of thinking it might just be silicon lottery. Yeah, 279. Do as I say, not as I do. But yeah, that's weird. 32.2 on the first one. And 28 on the second one. Fresh. Come on. Yeah, 32.2, 28.0. Can't see the overclock because the screen is blurry. My bad. 
bed. Here, let me see if I can... I don't know if that'll help, actually. That may not... Five six thirty five. That's enough. Start a different DPM for memory in Hive OS. Could be there a different DPM for memory? Really? Let's see, sixty six hundred DPM MDPM one. No, they're the same. Yeah, they're the same. Sixty six hundred MDPM one. Sixty six hundred MDPM one. So they're the same. 665, 700. And I guess I could bump up the uh, core voltage a little bit on this. Gotcha. Yeah, no worries. My 6600 XD won't go over 31.2. I do just my quality to 1080. Nice. Solid. Got 635 to hold, none of mine will go that low. Yeah, and I think the same. Not when I got Air Force 3 <laughs> touch and go flying at 300 feet of my house. But yeah, so what do you guys think? Probably just, so should I just bump it to like, because it's running at the clock that I've got it set to, 1145. But it's just not giving the same performance that the first one is. So, I, don't, I just don't know if there's anything further that I could do. And if I just got super crap not lucky on this one. Like I said, it's not horrible. But, you know. Let's see here. Just grabbed a snip. Very new. Okay. Adding. Crypto deck, all my puzzles are in Father's Day at 905, 675, 700, 1150. Can't see crap on the screen, it's probably what are you overclocked on the 600? So, um, Midnight Miner, I've got both cards running. Well, so the first one 32 mega hash, 32.2 at 54 watts, running at 1200 core. 665 core voltage, 700 core or uh, 700 memory controller voltage, 1135 memory clock, and then the second one that's only running 28 mega hash at 50 watts is running the same core, same core voltage, same memory controller voltage, and then it's running 1145 on the memory clock. Let's see. Clearly this card doesn't like over 1135 on memory. Yeah, clearly. So let's just tweak it back down to 1135. Let's try 1140 just for kicks. I'm on DPM 1, maybe that's why. 632 millivolts on mine. Interesting. 1200, 665, apply, there we go, and restart miner, midnight miner, I'm getting 33 at 59 to 60, dang dude, nice, I have to remember your first one was all whack to begin with, yeah that's true, mine was until I figured it out, like dialed it in, or whatever. Smash the like while you're at it.
two thumbs down. Come on. That's weird. Minor. Oh. Minor. Initializing. Navi 23. Twelve hundred cores, seven twenty VDD, seven hundred eleven twenty memory. Rondi, what's up, buddy? So I just added my second six six hundred. This one I think is now the first one that we had run before, got dialed in, and this one is the second one. This is the new one. So you said twelve hundred core, seven twenty, seven hundred. And 11.20. So this one will go above 11.40. This one was hitting 11.45 in shell. A little bit ago. Refresh. And let's restart the miner. Oh, there we go. We're hitting 30. That's a little better. Randy, go to sleep. That's funny. Two thumbs dead here. We're from the guy you're standing there from. <laughs> uh, 1350, 687, 2012, 20, 1075. MC, what's the 1075 for? Is that your MDPM? Or what? I'm on Team Red too. Tech man. Refresh. Yeah, so this is running 1120. There we go. <laughs> Hit the trash can, it's triggering me. Refresh. Go back into. You should have seen the logs area when I was fiddling with this for an hour with Matt Electron. It was like clear down here. Champ Chain was like, dump the trash can before you go to sleep. <laughs> okay, that's updated. Let's clear the memories. I can never sleep. Must be a thing. Fresh. 32.2, 31.7 at 56. That's a little better. Add one weird 6600. Wouldn't take memory clock. I kept messing with it, and now they all the same clock. MC, you can run your memory at 1220. And MC, what is that? Oh, 1075 was by me. I dropped it and increased the hash, but on the other card, it needs more. Was my me? I don't know what that is. Uh, is that the memory? The MDPM? Or something? Twelve twenty was MVDD, but this was just testing. Gotcha. The memory memory voltage. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Memory voltage. I haven't fussed with this. Push the memory up by ten. All right. Six core clock, k So let's see. So it's running 31.7. So let's do memory clock 1130. 10.75 was the memory. Oh, okay. Gotcha.
damage because Navi doesn't have voltage on memory, it's auto-regulated in software. Interesting. Fresh. 32.2, 31 point 8, 56. Let me guess, that's Crypto Duck. real quick. There's D miner's speed rig. Nice. Okay. Eleven twenty nine. That's interesting. So it looks like but that's weird because it was running eleven forty five. Maybe 11.29 is lottery, or like dialed in, or whatever. Techman TY, oh, I just had to drop me to 20 meg hash. Techman, is your, are your 480s um, BIOS modded? Like the one-click BIOS mod? All of mine are. And if you're curious about how to do that, I've got a video about how to one-click BIOS mod a GPU. Where is this? Here it is. Share. Copy. Here. Paste. There's YouTube pausing my music again. Fresh. That's a little better. Thirty one point eight at fifty six. 74 on the memory core, or memory. Midnight Miner, gotta leave, have fun. No worries, dude, thanks for stopping by. I appreciate you tuning in. That's nice. Let's check out. Yeah, uh, D mines or uh, deep miners. I am not quite to the super chat level. I would love to be, but getting there. YouTube needs to monetize Teespoon so I can spam those sweet donations slightly larger than jumps. Yes, please. Once again, that would be awesome. Yeah, I think I'm at 690... 689 subscribers. So, getting there. Yeah, so it's uh, a thousand subscribers, and then I think it's four thousand watch hours of any and all of your content inside of a twelve-month period. For yep, yeah, thousand subs, four thousand watch hours. Two seventy-eight point five, solid. Oh, and your firstborn. <laughs> <laughs> right. Let's see. <laughs> Be right back. You're gonna make 311 fake accounts. Oh, jump change. That's hilarious. Let's see. <laughs> uh. 
Yeah. I just read a text from Sugar Cube that made me laugh. Uh, let's check the wattage at the wall. Just out of curiosity. So before the average wattage was running, let's see. Oh, where are you? I'm checking my email because I get an email from my smart outlets every day that tells me what the last 24 hours worth of usage was from each of the three smart outlets, which is awesome. I still got to do a little video about my power monitoring and how that all works because it's handy. Uh, let's see here. Come on, where are you? I swear, lately I've been so busy at work, I didn't get it. I never get a chance to look at my email throughout the day for my personal email, and so it just racks up the unread messages forever, whatever. Okay, here we go. So Harry runs, yeah. So it's about it was about a thousand sixty-eight watts ish at the wall. Yep, 1,068, 1,066, 1,065, thereabouts. Here, I can show you guys real quick. So I get these emails every day. Keep smacking the camera. So this shows me wattage. Daily power usage for 913. The power usage of Harry on 913 was, and then it, sh it breaks it down for every one hour, and then it totals it at the bottom. 25.508. And I get that email every day. So yeah, so 1,064. Sorry if I was talking away from the mic. So let's check. Still stable. 278.4 Okay, so the hash or the hash power Close out of this Go back into the app Come on Here's the app. This shows the three smart outlets. App is a little finicky sometimes when I'm trying to get into the different outlets for whatever reason. See what I'm running now. 866. I like that. And that is actually just in Hive because I've actually got. Um, let's see what is it I'm actually running right now. Well, currently 42, <laughs> 42.9 on my 3060 Ti in the Studio P3, but that's because I'm streaming and shelling and all that
jump, you're picking up another rig? Crazy, dude. That's crazy. Genetic specials. Not that. Alright, come on, outlet. Do your thing. Connecting. At chilling silicon slaughter winds. Gotta sleep. <coughs> hey tech man, appreciate you tuning in, dude. Have a good night. just have to screenshot the email that I get tomorrow morning. Well, I guess it'll actually only be an hour's worth of stable power because it'll be the 11 o'clock to 12 a.m. hour on the 14th. But that's something. Yeah, this outlet, for whatever reason, is just finicky. It's not wanting to come up. I don't know why it does this. It's really weird. I know I've had these running at higher water just there we go let's see here Harry okay so we went from what was it a thousand sixty eight yeah so a thousand sixty five thousand sixty three thousand sixty four to currently eleven sixty eight eleven seventy five 1169 at the wall for Harry. So roughly about 100 watts at the wall for that one. So you're doing 31.8 at about 100 watts at the wall. So not too shabby. So 278.5 mega hash at 1170 watts, we'll say. 1165, 1170 at the wall. Take it on me. I'm falling. The cake by night. Wanna catch up my falling. Where you go? Every corner twice. Yeah, Cedric, same. It's. Yep, you are right. 1129 on the memory, and it's hitting 31.86. So. Too bad, too, yeah, so it's fluctuating just a little bit, 278.4, 278.5. I wonder what is fluctuating. Looks like it's this guy, I think, that moved a little bit. Some 
crypto deck. Maybe I also need that plug to right chunk change. Rhonda, are you talking about the uh, Shelly? I'm really curious about the Shelly. I'm going to have to look at it. Boys and girls, well, it's a little late. Appreciate you guys tuning in as always. I think I'm gonna call it a night. Let's see, Ron the if you wanna go with 32 on the second 6600, just play with the memory of it by five at a time. Yeah, I'll fiddle with it. I'll see what I can get out of it. But yeah, you guys are awesome. Smash the like on the way out. Oh. Uh, sneak preview, well, sneak preview. <laughs> um, I have, uh, let's see if I can find it real quick. Hang on. Da -da -da, where's this? That. Give me just a sec to find this email. Let's see if I can see this. So I got a little sneak preview for you guys. This is, I believe, the first time, pretty much, that these have been shown. But let's see here. Let me pull this up. Really? Can't. Let me choose Google Chrome. Google Chrome, application, Chrome. Open. There we go. Copy. All right, and let's go to this other window. So check this out. Stickers. So yeah, I've got a uh, proof order of these that is on its way. And uh, I'll have them in like a week or a week and a half, something like that. So if you are interested, feel free to throw a message, um, either DM me in Discord or throw a message in the Teaspoon of Information channel in Discord. And I will make sure you guys get some.
This is mostly just like testing the vendor to see how it goes. It's a uh, sticker mule. Um, from what I've heard, they've got some good quality stuff. That's what uh, Crypto Duck used for his. He ordered a boatload, so <laughs> so that's cool. Spot of tea. You need to add that to the next sticker. Right. A spot of tea. Anyway. Yeah, that's fuzzy. All right. Well, you guys, once again, appreciate you tuning in. My teaspoonites, you guys are amazing. Appreciate your support, as always. Tune in next week. Same bad time, same bad channel. And we will see if I manage to get my hands on any other GPUs in the next seven days. <laughs> no, not likely. But maybe we'll actually unbox and... Uh, get my 3060XC running on Hagrid. So, well, you guys, take it easy, stay safe, and mine on. We will catch you guys next week. Have a great night. Smash the like on the way out. <laughs>